will, Le will Luigi get the recognition he deserves? Find out today. All right, so everybody knows this one was called Yoshi's Island, I believe. Yep, Yoshi's Island, blah, blah, blah. So now we're gonna head up to Donut Plains. So technically the sequel to this game takes place where we just came from. Yes, yeah, and the sequel is Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, which is one of my favorite games. Um, awesome music in that game. My, yeah, my favorite music in that game is Athletic. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. do 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 Flower Garden. Yes. Yep. And no, that, that whole game was really well made. I, I enjoyed how they did it with Baby Mario. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about that game, which is probably the same thing everybody else says, is Baby Mario's Cry is the oh. most annoying thing ever. Oh, I hate that so And there's so, much. so many enemies all over the place, it's impossible sometimes to keep them on there. Yeah. And it's even more frustrating if you're trying to get a hundred score in every yeah. level. Yeah, I agree completely. So about to... And the other fun fact that they changed in the Super Nintendo version of this is when you get hit, I mean in the uh, Game Boy Advance version, when you get hit by an enemy, in this one you'll go back down to regular Mario. As to where in the Super, I mean in the Game Boy Advance version, they give you a little bit more uh, leeway. Now there's a place where you can go to get some more coins, but I don't need it. Right now. There is 96 exits in this game. A few years ago I finally found all of them. There's one of them I did not know about, the top secret zone. That's the only one I did not know about for a while. Yeah, when I was younger I got the guide for the advanced game, which I mean is the same thing basically, and I found all the exits that way. I figure I'm gonna probably go through the main levels first and we can go and get the uh, secondary ones. Yeah. Because really, once we get to the... I mean, we can... There's... If you... Whenever you look at the screen, if you see red dots flashing, it means there's an alternative exit. So I'll leave it up to Corey if he wants to go and get that one or if we want to wait and just do the regular levels. Yeah, I mean, well, we could do what we did last time. Yeah, yeah, just, and maybe go just up and get all the levels that. in an area first before we just start going out. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just... Uh, yeah, so we'll get the uh, alternative exit for this one. I actually prefer to play with you just, Yoshi. Oh, you just killed the uh, first one that you could do. That's correct. Yeah. Well, there's another one right here. The last one would have got him. Right there. Yeah, the cape is still my favorite thing to use. I just like spinning yep. all over the place. Well, that and the uh, the spin, I like. You can use the hit the hit the plants, so you can survive. That is not how you defeat them if you want another cape. Right? No, you can't go in. Oh yeah. Well, this is the bonus level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, all right, there's one. So you just gotta figure out what order to hit these in, and I'm getting kind of lucky right now. Oh, I almost jumped through the middle there. Oh, wow, three in a row. I've never... I think maybe in all the times I've played this game, maybe once or twice got an all. Oh, wow, you were close. Wow. Yeah. And I don't think they're always the same. I think no, it's just they, random. Yeah, it changes every time. So yeah, that's actually really impressive. I've never gotten that many. Well, I, I like using Yoshi because he's a he's a he's a security blanket, as I call him. Yeah. I mean, if I was like playing on the, the Super Nintendo First, Super yeah. Nintendo controller, yeah, maybe. Well, the nice part is, and I get the, I lose the first life. Yep. First casualty of war. Well, the nice thing about it, I like about this level is well, Yoshi will eat the enemy so they won't come back. Like the, uh, I don't remember what the hell they're called. Well, of course, if, well, see, like, if you were Mario, you would have gone back down to just, I mean, if you were Super Mario or anything, you would have just went right back down to Mario. So where Yoshi, you just kind of lose him. And in the Game Boy Advance version, once you find the top secret area, it actually gives you, uh, you have a chance to get a different color Yoshi. 
know that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Did. I'm actually gonna go for the uh, the switch right now. Yeah, because I'm gonna need it pretty soon. Yeah, in order to, to really make it easier to make the secret exit secret exit early. <laughs> Secret exit or easier in the first donut planes. This is the one way one way to go. Uh, those little things look like birds, but they're actually bats. They're called swoopers. If you've ever played like Paper Mario, oh yeah, they're in there too. That's Do I need the shell? Nope, from. I don't even need the shell. Just using Yoshi like a boss. That's right. The blue shell is from the Koopas. If you have Yoshi, it'll give him the ability to fly. Red makes you shoot fire green makes you i mean uh yellow makes you stop green is just a normal shell okay. all right that ought to make it a lot easier oh the d-pad yeah i was using the controls Ooh. oh no I, I can't do that with this game i have to use the okay. d-pad it makes me feel like i'm actually playing the game Oh, you're not going to try and get the uh, lives again? Nah, I think we're good for now. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Oh, I just it. ran into that I, th I thought you were going to... Oh! Whoa! Wow. Hopefully there's not a chasm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's the only just thing you right do in. that. It's like, I hope I'm not going to dive right into a chasm. <laughs> oh, I have done that too many times, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, like, oh uh, man, come on. Just a little short. I was gonna jump early. Well. These guys are so annoying. Might as well just go for the exit and then. Yeah, because uh, I'm not dropping down there. I'm down again. Nice. Now I'll uh, look at the green palace switch, then it'll be a lot easier to get that one. I think Plus, you can. I mean, there's so many green blocks. Yes, there is. In this game, it'll really help yeah. get cape feathers in. And the different block blocks. Yeah, I don't think the red block gives you anything. I think it's just an empty block. So oh crap! Really... You already got that. That's it. Yep. Whoops. Well, I already got the normal one. I don't even care about that right now. I'm just gonna go get the switch. No, I already got the normal exit. My, this last level, yeah, I went for the secret exit just to get the blocks now, so now. Uh, the yellow blocks from Yoshi's Island will give you a mushroom. Green blocks will give you the uh, the cape. As to where the other ones, I just think they're there. Yeah, they just make, like, platforms. Yeah, the red and the blue one. Well, pink, if you want to call it. It's a pink, reddish, whatever. The fuchsia color ones. So... Alright. This one is oh the Just as you go to get the um <laughs> Yeah, it's the it's that mystery that like am I gonna hit it or am I not? Come get me. Like ole <laughs> Uh poor Chuck. He never had a chance. Oh, I don't want to back up. See, now this is where I would just use Yoshi just to get to the part where you had to be. Yeah, with all the baseballs flying all over the place. Now, you need a running start. Or say. Okay, we're gonna get ready. Good idea. Here we go, secret exit. I hate the water levels in this game. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going this way, then I'll get the I'll get the normal exit on this one. This is donut plains right now, the continent we're on right now. They're all kinda named after like foods and desserts and stuff. Yeah they are. Like Sherbert Island and stuff like that. I didn't want to do that. I like having capes as a backup. I know a lot of people do enjoy using fire flower, especially in the water levels. 
Oh yeah. Those come in really handy, but even even in water levels, the uh, cape does justice. Oh, in the, in the Paper Mario series, they, they made them purple, actually. Swoopers. Yeah. That was a really good series. I think my favorite was... I enjoyed Super Paper Mario. But I think the original one, just because that's the one that really hooked me. But the Thousand Year Door. I thought it was the Ten Thousand Year Door for the longest time. <laughs> But then, he was absolutely convinced that it was 10,000. I'm like, no, I have played that game like seven times. It is the thousand years. Yeah, I thought it was the 10,000. <laughs> that is actually my favorite Mario game ever. Right there. I thought I was going to die right there. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. Well, as well just sit here in the chasm and cry. Yeah, but no, it's the thousand year door on the GameCube. Which, actually, we were talking earlier, the GameCube did not get any of the respect that it deserved. The yeah. game was definitely a good party console. Without a doubt, it had every game you could ask to have a good party. I mean, you know, that was kind of like the revolutionary period for Mario games, really. Because, yeah. I mean, just on the GameCube alone, I mean, you had Mario Baseball and Soccer coming out. Yep. Well, of course, you had Sunshine, which was yeah. the highlight of it, which nobody really likes, but I love that Everybody game. hated that game when it came out because it wasn't it Super was, Mario 64 2. Right, it was Mario on an island cleaning stuff, which I I enjoyed Flood. Yeah, Fl everybody, Flood was awesome. see, they said, like, you know, Flood takes away from the platforming and everything else. And I think if it you just take away Flood, dynamic. it yeah. would be fine. Well, they did in actually certain levels. Where they brought it back to the traditional Mario levels. Because what they would say is like, yeah, those uh, levels where you play without fun, like, that, that's perfectly fine. But yeah, as soon as you had to use Flood for anything, everybody's like, this isn't a real Mario game. See, the funny thing is, it's like, but actually, one, yeah. at one cert, they'll ask for something unique because everything kind of gets There's like after 10 Mario parties, okay, we want something unique and different. But the thing is, when they do, they complain about it. Yes. That's exactly so there's right. really no happy medium? No, there's not. Everybody's going to complain no matter what. But the people like me, I, I loved it. It was my favorite, without a doubt, Mario game. And like with the new Metroid game that came out. Oh, um, well, actually, it's, I believe, still being worked on. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh... Yeah, it wasn't. Force uh, Hunters or whatever? Yeah, people were flipping out about that game. Well, and, yeah, I mean, I understand, a... you know, it's kind Metroid's of a far got, cry yeah. from a normal Metroid yeah. game. But you have to understand, too, Metroid... Federation Force. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Metroid is not Nintendo's biggest selling no, series it's, at all. No, it's one of their black sheep, but everybody loves it. I mean, it's not a black sheep, it's just one of their so ones that I is th not really known. Yeah, I think what they were doing is they're just trying to make Expanded, a game yeah. that's more accessible to people right you know because you you're never be... going to build a series if you're having the same demographic buying right you're going to go for the normal exit first or uh, yeah i'd probably yeah probably be easier to go for oh uh, well, yeah actually go yeah, for the since secret I have one yoshi and i can just swallow this thing that's remember not to hold it too long yeah yeah in this game if you hold an item too long yoshi will swallow the item which will cause a lot of fury among people. <laughs> like a boss. And he's coming with us. Yeah, that's a funny thing about this game. Like, whenever you go into, like, a keyhole or something yeah. like that, it'll, like, take certain, like, any enemies on screen, yes. your item on screen, yep. too. And I was, when I was younger, I used to thought I'd lose the item, but... Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm like, gonna... No, actually, I worked hard for that! I'm gonna go for the super... I'm gonna go for the top secret area first. Funny thing is, it's if you know where it is, it's super easy. Yeah, you never I had think no, to go up here. No, no, I had no idea. I actually watched somebody do it online. That's how I finally figured it out. Corey last time was complaining that I would not go for the uh, 
the one up, so I'm not gonna die there. Ah! I missed it. Like a pixel. Uh... Yeah. Wah! As Wario would say. Wah! Oh boy. Now, I never knew about this area for the longest time. I always had the 95 exits. And then I finally realized, oh, look. I mean, I watched it online. I'm like, oh, sweet. There's actual another exit. So now we'll go for the normal exit on yeah. both of these levels. Which is basically just uh, kind of like a shortcut through this little lake here to kind of where you are right now. Yeah, yep. Whoops. Actually, they might work out better for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, the only thing in about these Yoshi, levels, it's and, just yeah. a little harder to control. Yeah. In these levels, I enjoy being Fire Mario over having Yoshi. Because Yoshi kind of binds you to where you are. You don't really have a lot of freedom. This is my favorite Mario underwater thing. Yes. Very relaxing. Yes, it is. Well, it's, uh, it's, the music style is a waltz, if I'm correct. Yeah. Old Koji kind of. Yep. He's most known for his Zelda games, man. That'll be, uh, that'll be a series that we do, too. Probably do, uh, like, A Link to the Past or something. That's one of the few games I've never beaten. Just because I always run out of magic on a certain boss. Even when I have the uh, double meter. That game was really good in itself. But I like Ocarina of Time. A lot of people that I talk to uh, really have gotten to like Majora's Mask again. Yeah, that's kind of like... Um, that one is a really dark game, but it's yeah, a really that's good that's what everybody game. says. Well, like... I mean, I, I watched the thing online on YouTube. It's uh, Game Theories. Yeah. Where he talks about the potential, the theory of Link being dead in Majora's Mask. Like, he's... He's... He's, uh... He's fine with his death, all this stuff. It's a really good video. Just gotta have an open mind to it. And I should've went in there with an item. <laughs> I might actually die. But then again, I'm thinking about which one I'm on. It's the first ghost house. They don't make... They don't make the first one usually hard. Yeah, they don't make the first one hard. See, a lot of folks, what will happen is you'll do what they want you to do. I actually remember the first time I played this, it took me a few tries to figure out where to go. But then, obviously, here we are. Son of a... I missed it again. <laughs> yeah, I missed my last one. Yeah, yeah, but I missed it twice in a row by the same amount. Just that little hair. Okay. Now, do we want to keep... Do you want, do you want to go to the, the other ghost house and... Hmm. Yeah, I think... Because this will eventually this will come just... around to that pipe, right? And just come around where you are? Because this leads... Um... The pipe, well, pipe leads us to a whole new little section, I think. Because I think there's two exits in this. Well, three, actually. If it leads me way out of the way, I'll just come back and we can finish it up later or something. Yeah. These are some boo buddies. Yep. Well, in uh, Super Mario Maker, they give you the option to use them. Which is actually really cool. And, uh, I know I've been actually playing that, playing with that game again. For everybody that does not know what Super Mario Maker is, you get to create your own Mario levels. I have seen some really interesting ones. Uh, people devote a lot of time to those. Oh yeah, I knew people would just really take to that. Yeah, I've a lot of the automatic levels that you ever see online is something that somebody spends a lot of hours on. It takes a lot of time to make those, which is amazing to watch. It's it's amazing to see them too. I believe this is a secret one. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, because there's the door. Oh, yeah, the boo. Yeah, the big Giant boo battle. Now, a lot of people thought that the boo came from uh, Super Mario 64, but actually he was in this game first. I thought you were going to get it. I thought you did it just time, just right. Like right now. 
Yeah, and you don't want to take all of these out because this is the floor that you know you're standing on. If you take all of them out, you're just gonna fall to your death. Yep. I think I, I learned that the hard way the first I, time yeah, I, I came to I think I did this. the same thing when I was younger. So I'm like, whoops, I died a lot. Nice star level. And I think I think the normal exit actually leads you to the pipe. Yeah. So actually, that's what I'll do quick. Yeah. Do I want to go in there as the mini Mario? Uh, you know what? Nope. I'm gonna show you guys what the top secret area is. Um, we'll do it this way. There. So now, I don't want that. I wanted these two. I want to have two flowers. You know, two flowers, but you know what I mean. I mean, you'll find yourself coming back to this place when you're like almost done the game and you just want a ton of items or yep. something. So now. Oh, that doesn't count as my turn. Wow. I thought it did. That is generous. Yeah, that is very generous. Okay. So I'm going to just take the normal exit, I believe. Oh, oh, oh wow. Did you know you can kill the big boo? Oh, yeah. I just did. <laughs> Accidentally. What's down there? Probably gonna die right there. Yeah, and then later they'd call the big boo an atomic boo, and then the giant boo in Luigi's Mansion is just that specific one of boo losses. Yes. Yeah, he's had a lot of names in these games. Is this a secret exit, I believe, actually? All right, there we go. So now we can actually show you the bonus level. Okay. There is a way to do this. I don't remember how to do it. I think the easiest way, I mean, because I find as soon as I hit one and I just keep going and jumping and jumping, it well, does get, it I'll get most two. often. Okay. All right. Yep. This is both. That was both exits. All right. So now I figure we might as well keep going up there. Yeah, because there's a different pipe. This leads us somewhere else. Yeah, because you see those two little triangles. Yes. That yep. forms a path right back up to here. Yep. It does. So. I think your favorite level. I love these levels with all these spinning platforms. You just jump around and just have a ton of fun. Of course, it's always best to have the gate to do it. So if you make a mistake, you can just float over to safety. As long as you're, as long as you're not in the middle of nowhere. I think one of the most fun things to do is get down there. Like if you don't have the, uh, if you if, if you don't happen to have the cape, there's is ways to get down there. But it is so much easier with the cape. And of course, watching the Koopas fall. It doesn't really lead you anywhere, it just gets you some coins. And the Yoshi medallion. And you have to trust yourself. Like, how much do you trust life? I thought you were going to catch that one. Yeah, it's like, there's so many things in this game that makes it so much fun. Like, tossing shells sliding around, flying with the cape, I mean, it's just awesome. It never gets old. No, it doesn't. Then you can take the upper path to go into the uh, the warp pipe, where you can see if you can do better than what you did last time. You got five out of the, well, you got four out of the five, or whatever it is. Yeah. You get a one-up after you get five of them. Yes. And there it is. All right. I think that's the first level where we've gotten all of them. And so I think if you get them all, you get a one up. Yep. So there you got two extra one ups. Nice. <laughs> that's the thing about older games. Sometimes you get something to respond if you wanted to. All right, now you get to go play the game. The game of life, literally.
Oh, you're gonna get three. Oh, actually, think about it. See, Look, it's E. I don't know if there's any like specific method to get the timing right for the one that's in the middle, but you see, I just kept going well, up and well, up. Well, the one in the middle yeah. is the one that you want to try and yeah. get. Yeah, because I mean, I just went yeah, and I happened to get the flower. Oh, this, this is the... Oh, I hate this area. This is the... Bowser. Well, this is the um, ice level, I believe. Yep. I'm gonna die. Yep. I actually really like this level. I should have let you do it then. <laughs> Cool oh, thing about... remember, there's one level where you have to use that. Yeah, it's in the uh, it's, it's in the star level. Yeah, and that's how you get a secret exit or something. Oops. Hey. I'm risking life. When I was young, I thought those were like crabs. Wow. But they're like spike tops. Yes. <laughs> I'm still alive. Barely though. saved Yoshi. Oh, this is great. And then if you die, that always pissed me off. I get done, done that and wasn't paying attention. Well, actually, that level wasn't bad. Okay, so I can't complain. There's just some of those levels, man, that just kill you. Where'd I go? Uh, you are basically right beneath me right now. Yep. Oh, yeah, because that's yeah, cause right you'd there. be right under that pipe right now. Yep, yep. So there, I think we've gotten all the levels in this world, too, now. You're oh, not yeah. Not getting that shit. No, no. I hate that one because it homes on your location. I, one of my favorite things to do is to kick it at him. Then he stops. <laughs> so, yep. I remember when uh, that first happened to me. I was like, what is this guy doing? Oh, wow. Oh, he's going to kill him for you. Oh! He almost got him all for you. I think last time you and I played this, he, he, he did that. Yeah. He took out one of his brethren. <laughs> Careful. I was hoping it'd just keep hopping. Oh, man, I thought that Koopa that fell down was me. <laughs> like, whoops. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the medallion. I thought about it for a millisecond, and I'm like, it's not worth it. Woo! Uh, what did you call these guys last time? They look like tomatoes. No, you, you killed them. Well, you call you killed them. You called them something. You're like, I am not about to die to a uh, something. I don't remember what you called it, but it was hilarious. Favorite thing to do is get the star. Of course, did not do. <laughs> no, you instead elected for the cape, which is fine. It's a good thing the uh, big guy doesn't respond every time you go off the off the screen, because that would have been such a pain, especially growing up. Because this, I always thought, was like one of the hardest jumps. That's exactly why. Oh! oh! And you, you should have just went for the exit. So I went you, uh, back because I wanted. I was being selfish. I wanted it to come back up. There we go. I misjudge how big that chasm was. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll go ahead and do this for you. Yep. The yellow shell kills everything. Oh. Now the blue shell. Yoshi can fly. I could really finish this level quickly if I wanted. But I don't know where I am. Oh boy, I don't know where I am. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got lucky. I had no idea where I was. This is where I landed. This is what you want to do, really. Yeah, good one-up opportunity. Not that I really need it, but whatever. There 
go. Oh, that's how the level's actually done, but now you're gonna go to the castle again. And a fun fact, if you defeat the castle, you can actually go back and beat it again. Press R and L on the castle. Yeah, that's another really awesome thing about this game is you can if you really liked a level or you wanted to explore it more, you could just go back and play it again. Yeah. Exactly. You weren't confined to just moving on. Like in Mario Brothers 3. Because in that game, if you liked the level, you had to basically restart the game. Mario Brothers, they really didn't give you the option to pick a level. They just said, here you go. But obviously, once this came out and then the rest of the Mario's followed, you can replay a level as many times as you want. Yeah, this really set the tone for a lot of Mario games to come. Yep. Especially, you know, 2D platforms. Yeah, especially the good uh, adjustment to 3D. Oh, wow. Oh. No, I'm not gonna get that one. <laughs> You're gonna give Mario a thing. I mean, you're gonna give Luigi. Like, <laughs> you're gonna give quote unquote Luigi a concussion here. Alright, let me just wait a second. I thought you could make that jump. Patience. Going under it, though. Patience is not your virtue today. Yeah, that'd be. You'd have to time it just right. And that, I don't know. That'd be hard to do. But it could be done. That's the, one of my favorite things to do with, about, with the dry bones. You can actually defeat them as long as you have the cape. Or a pal block. But I don't think there's pal blocks in this game. Uh, no, no, uh, there's not. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. In the second one there was Super Mario Brothers 2. The US version. Which is Doki Doki Panic. The actual Japanese name. I always feel bad for that one dry bone over there. <laughs> I was like, man, Bowser didn't like me. Oh no, I thought you, I thought you got hit. <laughs> I have a lot of fond memories of this game. There's many a nights I've spent when I couldn't sleep. I actually woke up and I played this game. Like, no, this is gonna be perfect. This is just what I need to relax, and that's what I did. I played for a few hours, and then I was good. I actually have the game guide for this on my, I mean, the, the booklet, the instruction booklet on my shelf for this game. Man, you know what really goes for some money is if you have, like, the boxes for these games. Yeah. Because, I mean, back in the day, no one thought any of this stuff was going to be worth anything, so they just chucked the boxes because yep. no one wanted to keep them. And well, now... that's, that's, that's one thing I actually shop for now is boxes and manuals so I can make complete games because I, I love it. What awaits Mario <laughs> in this new world? And yet, Luigi gets no love in any of these games. Poor Luigi. Yeah. But it's just Mario with purple pants and a green shirt. <laughs> 